if you look at my profile on paper, it's it's the weakest profile. Unmarried, do not mm -hmm. even have college degree, right? Mm -hmm. So on paper, this is the weakest profile. Thirty seconds, and within that, I heard like your visa is accepted. Your visa is approved. So are you too a young single working professional in India looking for a US B1, B2 visa? Then this video is for you. Visa rejection in India is really high for people who are in their 20s. And this is primarily because of two reasons. Number one, short employment track record. Since the number of years of experience is less, visa officers think that your job or your career is not stable enough and is not important enough for you to come back to India. Number two, insufficient personal ties. Since most young people are not married, they don't have children, so visa officers think that there are not enough personal relationships which will bring you back to India. However, all of this can be overcome with the right strategy and the right answers. And this is exactly what we're going to discuss in today's video. I also have with me Ronak, who is sharing his experience. Now, Ronak is 23, he's single. In fact, he's not even completed his education degree yet. And he got the B1 visa approved in 30 seconds. So let's get into the video. My name is Ronan Patel. I'm from Rajkot, Gujarat. Uh, I run AI company and in AI company, we have other software and AI companies to build their AI modules. And uh, we have clients all over from Europe and USA. So I've been running this company since the last three years. So is this your first job, gig, or have you worked prior to this? Uh, no, this, this was my first thing I did. I've um, built a couple of other companies as well in the past, but none of them took off. This was the first one that took off. So yeah, kind of this is my first job. Why did you think of visiting the US? When did you start thinking, okay, okay I need to go to the US? How did this all start? So it was not that of a conscious thought. Uh, before this, I was in uh, France this year itself, and later I went to Dubai for a couple of months. So while visiting those countries, uh, I, I realized like, again, still the main center of what I do is still in San Francisco, still in USA. Although after remote work and COVID, it has distributed throughout the world. But still, if you want to be in a 10 kilometer square place where majority of the action happens, majority of the companies that are being founded uh, and the initial conversations of any new technology still happens in SF or on Twitter. Right. So I was like, after France and Dubai, this is naturally the next place where I should be for a couple of weeks, couple of months, just to see what's happening there, just to see what new faces are there uh, and what new companies are being founded. So that's why I was like, let's go to USA now. What research did you do to understand US visa process? Or did you have some idea? Okay, it's not very straightforward for a minute to look at Right. Uh, so before this, um, let's just quickly go through my uh, visa experience of other countries. Uh, so I, so this AI company is um, in France as well as in India. And my partner is French, French basically. So what happened is in February or March, um, or January or February of this year, I was applying for French visa and I got rejected. So mm -hmm. I, I was like, this is very hard to believe. Even after being a partner in a company, which is established there, uh, they rejected my visa. You know but, why? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Um, you, when you get um, a letter, they say like, uh, you do not have enough reason to come to our country. And I was like, <laughs> uh, exactly. I was too young. Yeah. Like if you look at my profile on paper, it's, it's the weakest profile. I'm like, not too young, not married. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. unmarried do not even have college degree right yeah. so on paper this is the weakest profile and what happens is um, in when you're fighting for a european visa you just your strongest thing is the cover letter and i did not write the cover letter so my agent wrote the cover letter and it was super simple cover letter so what i did was right after 10 days from when, when i got rejected i wrote my cover letter by myself and it was like three page cover letter including all the stories and everything and uh, right after they, they were like yeah sure i mean because it was my point right it was my um mistake that i did not point out properly like why do i want to go to france for business purpose because i have a business there i was not uh, explicit about it so after that i realized like it's, it's just human making decisions just like i have hired so many people sometimes i i don't even know why i hired them but if they can give me conviction like hey, they can get the job done and they will be um th that is better for all right something you get these feelings so again i, I started you applied and you got the visa then yeah i reapplied for uh, france and i got the visa but yeah, the main thing is within the 10 days uh, mm -hmm. so it just goes to show like if you prepare very well you can get the visa uh, of any country so with us as well i knew somewhat it's very different only country in the world probably doing interview for your visa right uh, you feel like you're going to get a job there <laughs> because interview is so uh, different than any like paper application so i was prepared for it and um, uh, this is how i started preparing for it watching uh, youtube videos then we got into contact i was watching lots of your videos as well and then we had a one hour call for preparation you showed me all the strong points that i have and all the weak points as well and a couple of my friends also went through the similar experience so i was uh, asking them every single day uh, leading up to one week to take my interview on a call and mm -hmm. they were asking the same question i was applying same answers so i was just prepared for that yeah so overall i prepared too much to uh, for, for this interview but um like you prepared well i could see that uh, in the session itself but the points right like you are too you're very young 23 like you said without a like a degree or married those points still remain on paper as an nds-164 which is what they look at True. so when you say i prepared well what was the points which you focused on to sort of not let you know the decision be just based on this what's on the paper yeah. because any interviews where these officers don't ask any questions right or they ask just one or two 
Right. And they reject you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I already knew what questions they're going to ask, right? Because, because of our preparation, because of all the research I did. Um, it will be simple question. First question will be like, why are you going to the USA? Uh, and I need to have like strong enough reason with history of that reason being correct. So I was going to USA for attending conferences in San Francisco. So why am I going there? Like why in San Francisco? Well, because of AI and I have an AI company since last three years. And one more thing to add, I have been attending similar kind of conferences in France and Dubai this year. Uh, and I had like proof of everything, even photos I had clicked, I had printed them out uh, just to be confident in myself. I knew they were not going to ask uh, for all of this. So first question, this was the answer, right? I'm going there to attend conferences and I have history of attending conferences in France and Dubai and India as well. Basically, you gave them the purpose and you supported it with proof yes. and also adding the business so that it shows why it's important for your business. Yes. Because in business visa, that's what they're looking at, right? How is this going to impact or you know, improve your business? Yeah, true. And one strong point I had was that I'm a director and owner of the company which is established in France as well as in India. And we are doing a great business in AI and we have a reputable company. So how to highlight that um, quickly with, before even they asked me, right? So I, I was I was learning that uh, and while preparing for this interview, it helped me just in like social conversation, like what are people trying to find from you, right? They ask different questions, but they mean something else. So whenever a visa officer is asking like, why are you going to US? He is less interested in the reason and more interested in like, hey, are you going to come back or how long you're going to go there? And second question would be like, what do you do generally? Again, that as well, like how much of financial stability you have in India? Um, what are your ties to your country in India? And those are the things to prepare. Like whatever is your strong point, you should start saying it within the first or second question. Uh, and like incorporating all these points in one question is the, it's something I did. Roughly how much time did you spend? Like if you have an estimate of how many days uh, spent into all of this? At least 15 days of uh, three to four hours every single day of watching videos. Uh, that's, that's, that's intense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, as I said, I was not taking any chances with this one because US is like, like once you get US visa, like 50 different countries open up, yes. right? Without doors to yeah. yeah, so I was taking it uh, as a high stake thing and mm -hmm. yeah, I prepared very well for that. Coming to the day of the interview, where did you go for the interview? Which concert? Uh, it was in New Delhi. New Delhi. And, okay. Um, yes, it was like one month ago almost. Right, it's all about a month ago. So how was the experience? Uh, what happened in that day? The experience was very smooth. Uh, I had a great night of sleep uh, leading up to that. 11 a.m. I reached there. It was, um, there was no crowd, surprisingly. Uh, there was not enough people there. So within like half an hour, uh, mm -hmm. I got the interview. Uh, and um, I was I was checking like people, a guy in front of me, a guy who was behind him, me, were like same age. Uh, and they were the same age, they were same profile. They're going for travel. Both of them unfortunately got rejected. Uh, and so I was a little bit scared when, mm -hmm. when the guy in front of me got rejected and I was put in the same place. Uh, and uh, the guy was super chill. The visa officer was super chill. He's like, why, uh, why are you going to USA? And so, so, so the first question, let's jump directly into the interview. So it lasted for, I think, 30 seconds. And within that, I heard like your visa is accepted or your visa is approved. Yeah. And I, I was so shocked. I didn't know what to do next. Like do I say something, <laughs> yeah. so I just spoke off. So, so the questions were, um, why is it that you're going to USA? I answered, I'm going there for the conferences. And I've attended similar conferences in Dubai and in Paris this year itself. Second question was, what is it that you do for work? Answer like I'm a director and owner. I was so hesitant to speak these words because in normal life you don't say it like that, right? right. Like I run a company, you say, or uh, you you use down to earth word. Right. But here I knew I need to use strong words. I was like I'm director and owner of the two companies, and one is established in India and France, and we build AI modules for our clients all across Europe and USA. And that's it. That was my visa interview. He did not ask for a single document, uh, no follow up questions, and uh, mostly they will not even ask for documents. Mm. Uh, for yeah, that's but for my case, it was so weird because what are the chances of Indian guy having a French company, right? So I was prepared with all the documents, but mm -hmm. they didn't ask for anything. And within like 30 seconds, uh, visa was approved. I love the way Ronak has framed and presented the purpose of visit answer. It's perfect. But before we go ahead, let's pause here and let me share with you three important hacks or tips for your B1 visa interview. Tip number one, frame the purpose of visit answer really, really well. This is the most important question in your interview and it is going to be asked and usually it is asked right in the beginning. So getting this answer right means you are going to make the rest of the interview easier for yourself. Purpose of visit answer cannot be a one line answer. In fact, it should have three important parts. It should parts. have a one line introduction about yourself, which highlights the main point about your career. Second, it should have details of your trip. Where are you going and for how many days? And third and most important part, it should highlight the importance of this trip for your business or for your career. In fact, we have an entire video which breaks down each of these three steps in detail and shows you sample answers. I'm going to leave the link for this video right here. So after you're done watching this, make sure that you do check out the video on how to frame your purpose of visit. Tip number two, brush up your technical skills. Now off late, we have noticed that visa interviews have got technical. So, so visa officers could ask you technical questions about your career and about your purpose to the US. 
Let's say that you are going for an AI conference. So you could be asked technical questions about what is AI, difference between AI, ML, latest developments in AI, and so on. So do brush up these technical skills. And if you can show that you have done similar work in India already, or if you have done similar work by traveling to other countries, then that's gonna boost up your profile even more. Tip number three, dress well, speak well. This is really important. I cannot stress how important it is to make a good impression, to have a good conversation with the visa officer. US visa interviews are completely interaction based. They hardly see documents. So dressing well and presenting yourself well is important. We have an entire video which breaks down how to dress for a B1 visa interview. And we have some sample images for both boys and girls. So I'm gonna leave the link for this video. Make sure to check it out. So these are my three tips. Now let's get back to Ronak's video and watch the rest of his experience where he's also gonna share some more interview tips and his own personal hacks. So when you were in that environment, because you must have spent some time, about a half an hour or so inside, uh, and like you said, you saw rejections. What did you observe? Like what in your, um, you know, like in your opinion, uh, something which was not done okay or which should be avoided? Uh, in terms of people, like uh, people who had applied for uh, visa and they had interview, most of them seem very overconfident compared to their preparation. Maybe I was the same when I was apply applying for a French visa for the first time, right? So most of them were very overconfident and um, they did not, they had no preparation. They were, they didn't even knew like what questions they're going to ask and how to reply them very well. Most people were struggling with it. Uh, one observation I made was like even the people who struggled with the answers and still got the visa uh, for B1, B2 were the parents of mm -hmm. uh, uh, any person, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, who had like green card or US citizenships or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the parents got it very easy. Like all of the parents, uh, there were like four or five of the couples, uh, like 55, 60 year old uh, grandmother, grandfathers, mm -hmm. and they all got visas. So that was one of the things. If they don't prepare very well, mm -hmm. they get visas. But for guys like us who are like 24, 25, not married, uh, and do not have a lot of things going on here, if they are applying for like travel visa for like, hey, I want to go and see New York once, they're not going to get accepted. That's just so, yeah, so. They don't uh, trust like, you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's odd, very odd. Yeah. yeah, if those things are there, you can prepare very well. Great. Thank you so much, Ronak. I mean, so many useful things. And the, I hope that this inspires younger people to apply in a, like, in a structured, prepared way. Because, uh, like, so many young people come to us and, you know, um, they, again, have this fear, right? That what's going to happen because I'm not married and I don't have a lot of work history. So how do I present this? Especially those who want to go for work or any of the business focus. So, uh, so for your any last minute tips? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so last minute tips, uh... It's like, it's again, the same thing. It's just so structurally the same thing. Like whatever is your strong point, um, start addressing that. Like start understanding what is your strong point in the first place and whatever are your weak points. So I had answers for everything. Like why am I 24 and why am I going to USA? Why do I do not have a college degree? Like why I was doing mechanical engineering, but why I didn't finish it? So I had answers for that if they ask me. So prepare for your weak points if they ask, but do not mention them right at the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. Prepare for your strong points and whatever question they ask, start incorporating those strong points in the answer. And Best of luck. You, you need a bit of luck as well if your profile is bit. Okay. I think there are many people who have questions for you. So how can they reach you? Uh, so on Twitter, I'm 7 Ronak 7 uh, On Instagram, it's ai.ronak. And on YouTube, it's Ronak Patel AI. But it's just, I'm plugging my YouTube in. You cannot message me on YouTube. <laughs> so he has a lot of YouTube videos related to AI. So you guys should yes. check that out as well. And we'll leave the links for all of this right below. Yeah. And before you go, um, we did the preparation. You know, you took a consultation to figure out all of these questions. So what inputs do you have about that? Um, so, uh, like I, I remember very well, uh, we did a first mock interview and you pointed out a couple of weaknesses in my answers, right? Uh, so that was very helpful and you had recording as well. So I listened to those mock interviews again and again and again for like a couple of times to understand how I need to answer them better. And then again, I was recording on my phone and listening to them again and again as well. So, uh, those, especially that, that session and those mock interviews were very helpful. Uh, if even, if, even if my sister is preparing for visa again, I would definitely, you know, recommend this. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found this useful. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shashi.mal. And we have more useful content coming up in the B1, B2 visa series. So make sure that you subscribe and keep an eye on this particular playlist because all the videos are going to get updated here. We also have tons of free resources to help you in the preparation. So do check the li links in the description box. They're going to give you these free PDFs. And just like Ronak, you can work one-to-one -one with me to clear your B1 visa interview. So we have several options. You can do a one-to-one -one session with me. You could do a mock. We also have packages which cover everything right from the DS-160 form to the answer structuring to the mock. So all the good stuff is right below in the description box. Do take a look and you can reach out to us on this particular WhatsApp number if you have any more queries. That's all for today. Signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.